Hi, Len Clark of Irish Illustrated, off to the city center where I have a meeting this morning at the GAA Museum, which is a potential sponsor of Irish Illustrated's Guide to Dublin. Things to do when you get here for the game in August. You see I'm not shaving because tomorrow I have an appointment for a haircut and a hot towel shave at the Waldorf Barbershop, and I'm really looking forward to that. And it's a bucket list item, so I highly recommend when you get the guide, get the directions, make the reservation, and get your haircut and hot towel shave. But I'm taking the bus down to the city center, then up to Croke Park, the National Sports Complex. That's where they play the GAA Finals, and where Notre Dame played Navy back in 1996. But it's gonna be another interesting day here in the city. Uh, outside of that, I'm meeting with Dublin Bus, which is one of our official sponsors as far as transportation. I'll put a link below about Dublin Bus. And uh, heading back to the Celtic Whiskey Shop, in addition to looking for something for the ladies to do. So follow us right here at irishillustrated.com. I'm Len Clark, have a great day, and go Irish. But what he decided to do was get people who had credibility in the community involved in that first meeting. You were out there. Okay guys, uh, we'll just wait for this gentleman to, to get a seat, yeah? Executors, there is nobody else in Ireland with the leadership charisma qualities of Collins and this war of independence will fade away. And I tell you, there's probably very few of us here probably remember Michal O'Hare. Uh, Michal O'Hare, for about three decades, uh, was the voice of radio commentary uh, on Radio Airden. If you wanted to hear a game live and find out what was going on, you listened to Michal O'Hare on Radio Ireland every weekend.